everybody, Dizzy Crafting here. Um, I'm on my second video already. I did my introductory video um, explaining to you that I did actually use a craft but I gave it up nine years ago. Um, I sold everything I had. If you actually want to see how crazy my nail room, not my nail room, my crafting room was, you can find it on my nails channel which is Dizzy Nails and Beauty. Um, it did start out as a crafting um, YouTube channel but um, I basically got into nails big and it just took from there and I didn't really want to start posting craft things on there so I thought well let's make a new crafting channel um, but like I say because I sold everything now I've got to start from scratch and things have moved on somewhere I know a little bit what I did use to like so I kind of had an idea of the items I actually wanted um, quite a few of the things I bought second hand from Facebook just because starting out is expensive I have actually bought some stuff from craft at craft websites too so I just thought I'd share this haul with you I mean I've got more stuff coming I've already bought like a kind of basic kit as well like ink pads a few stamps and a die second hand die cut machine I got I actually got a big shot for 30 pound which I thought was just a bit crazy and even with that bundle there was some dies and some embossing folders so that was an absolute steal and I actually got that from the Facebook marketplace and it's a fantastic place to go look in it's in your local area majority of the time or some people are posted out to you uh, so it's a really good way to get started without actually costing the earth. Anyway, enough of the babble. I want to get into these packages. They've been building up and I'm so eager to get into it. So I think I'll start with the smaller ones. I've no idea which ones was in from eBay or Facebook. Um, some of them I probably don't even remember where I bought them, whether it be Facebook or eBay. Uh, this particular orange one was from Incalicia so I want to save this to last because it was a quite big order so let's get cracking the first item I did actually open I'm not going to lie because I didn't actually remember what it was um, and I know I got this obviously because I've opened it I did actually get this from the Facebook market page and it's just a few stamps from the company Incalicious, no not Incalicious, Indigo Blue um, and these are mounted stamps so I'll, I got this Christmas stamp which says I've been a good good all year, okay most of the time, alright once in a while, fine I'll buy my own present and although we're fair way, way off Christmas yet it's never too late to get prepared as I remember from back in the day when I used to do them and then I got this lovely flowered um, corner stamp so again this is mounted so I'm excited to try this one and then I've got my niece is actually having a baby and I thought this would be kind of cool to do a little card or a little mini album for her baby's uh, first Christmas because she's due next month or is it this month? because to keep forgetting we've changed months no definitely July we're now in June we'll go to the next one and I'm just going to snip it open with some scissors like these actually scissors was from my crafting days hence that's why the the battered but there was really good scissors the Fiskars scissors and I'm so glad I kept them I know I kept my Tim Holt scissors but I cannot find for love no money I also kept my Fiskars um, cutting board like paper trimmer and I also kept my tonic guillotine just cause with school projects and stuff like that they always come in handy those kind of tools so let's get this one open and have a look what goodness is in here so this again I think came off Facebook and I've got a little note in here saying thanks for your purchase happy crafting Helen and this is another Christmas stamp with a little robin I think that is and some holly a Merry Christmas stamp in there and I think this year it was made by Kanban and these are just the clear stamps now I know some of the stamps have moved on since I crafted so I need to get to grips with that and I'm going to again snip this one open 
we try to keep it at the edge so that if it's in there we could get damaged, we don't want that. So I bought these magnolia stamps. Again, we've got it must have been from the same seller. She should have literally just put them in the same packaging, but maybe I bought them on different days. I don't know. Or oh, was this from eBay? I really can't remember. I think it might have been. Um, and I remember loving these little girls and boys from Magnolia. Um, this one looks like it's never even been used. And so does this one. Um, I don't know if there was names on these. Yeah, this one's Sneaky Tilda. And this one was Sweet Princess Tilda. And this one, it's been used very little. I can just see there's a slight stain on it. But like I say, I'm buying second hand. The fact I've actually got, she's rather cleaned them up very well or she's never used them, I don't know. And then this one is Santa's Little Helper. So again, another little Christmas stamp, which because my niece is having a little girl, would just be perfect for that. This one, I'm guessing, is a die because of, like I say I've got to build all my dye collection up again but at least I know what dyes I did like although there is quite a lot of different brands out there from when I used to craft again this one was from eBay and it's the Tim Holtz alterations and I think it was the flourish was it called yeah elegant flourishes not bad um, memory on that one but I did used to love this one so I'm glad I've got that again second hand I couldn't remember what prices I paid for any of these I'd look, if you want to know I can actually go on my eBay and on my Facebook page to see what I did pay and then this is another die because I, I was trying to take my address label off and I can see one of the dies through there So in this one I got the corners because I used to love doing these on the mini albums and obviously you get two different uh, edges as well which is fantastic and this one doesn't even look like it's actually been used and I remember these I, I actually got these because I was on the bidding wars like type of thing on eBay so I actually got these really cheap so I think this one has been used because the packaging I can see has probably been open. So let's, let's have a look at the blades on it. But no, actually, I don't think it has. She's, if, she, if it has, it's been cleaned up very well. And it smells exactly um, how I remember. I have a thing about smelling things. And then I got this other scalloped edges as well. And this one, I didn't actually say what the other ones was called. This one's called scallops. This one was called scroll work. And then this one was called brackets. And I bought these, I, I think altogether, these was about 12 pound, maybe um, 15 at most with the post and packaging. But the lady was really good and she actually, um, combined all the postage for me so I saved a lot of money just on that alone so absolute bargain because I think these was about eight to ten pounds when I first when I used to get them and then we've got two more dies which are the larger ones now this one was my one of my all-time favorites so I had to get it it just I did so much with this actual die um, so yeah, it's obviously been used, which I have no problem with, like I say. Um, it's still in very good condition. I mean, the dyes from Sizzix, they last forever anyway if you look after them. And it's, again, lightly used. It's been exceedingly well looked after. And again, this was another one of my favourites. So the bird one is called Caged Bird. And this one's called Tatted Florals. Again, this was another favourite of mine. I mean, I did have a big thing for Tim Holtz, but you can see here, if it can pick up, it's actually really good condition. So I'm exceedingly, I know I keep saying exceedingly, I am 
really really happy with those this one is all brand new and this one was in colour so hopefully that I think that's where it's from because obviously I've not opened it and there's no address other than mine on here so this was all bought brand new um, my friend put me onto this website because there's so many different websites now like I say it's just a minefield again and it's so exciting just building up my craft products all over again it's like Christmas for me so we've got two packages in there so these are the Versafine Claire inks and my friend told me these are really really good inks the, I used to use Versify, but she said these are so much better. Um, and they've got this one in blue. I got quite a few of them because it was actually in the sale. And then I got Fallen Leaves. I got Shanty, I think that might be. I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, I got Glamorous. Like I said, I did get quite a lot of these guys. Uh, I got Fantasia. I got a golden, me golden meadow. I got blue, uh, medieval blue. I got manuk. Running out of space here on my table. And then I've got verdant. I'm probably saying half of these wrong. I got nocturne. I got paradise. I got pine cone. I got purple delight. I got rainforest. I got warm breeze. I got shady lane. Acorn, I think that says. Uh, summertime. We did that. And then I got Tulip Red and Twilight and the last one is Green Oasis. So I think I got one, I think I got 21 and I think there was 24 to a set. The, the other three was out of stock. Whether they do more colours than this, I have no idea. But like I said, I got these on sale. So let's, so we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21 so yeah I definitely got 21 of these and I did like obviously when I was start when I did do my crafting to begin with um, I learned a lot and I learned that it's important to actually get a really good ink pad um, when I first started out many years ago I just used to buy everything that was cheap but you buy cheap buy twice and I learned not with everything but with ink pads and stamps and dyes you really want a good quality brand that is recommended by friends or you can see on YouTube and just look at the reviews and my friend has been crafting for forever if not the majority of her life uh, so if she says a product is good I am going to take her advice and then we've got this last parcel actually it's not the last parcel I have actually got something from Amazon there's quite a lot in this parcel uh, because obviously like I say I've got to collect, do my collection quite a few of these items again was in the sales so always look in the sales some of them I'm not quite sure what to do with but I'm sure I'll get there like these um, stencils I'm guessing we're just going to use ink pads in these so I got like this circly one the brick one which I absolutely love anything with bricks I don't know where this brick came like because I do nails as well I have so many different products with brick things in um, I got some of these chipboardy type of things which is just all oops all trees like I said if you want prices I will put links down below but like if you want to search the website but there's so much of this like it, uh, the list would be endless so I've got this sunray one as well and then I've got this one which is says 
live, create, dream, believe, imagine and love. And then we've got some fairy dies as well, not dies, sorry, fairy like chipboard pieces. And you can see here, it was in the sale and I'm not, I think I paid, I can't remember, it was like anything from 50p to a pound, I, can't, I really can't remember. And then the rest, oh no, there is some stuff that's not stamped, so I got some coasters. I thought it'd be really cool to do some res some stamping and then some resin over that. Um, and then I think there's some more little chipboards. Yeah, so there's some chipboards because I've been struggling to actually get the Tim Holtz key one that I used to use a lot. So I thought, well, until I can get it, it's a second hand one of those. I, I've got these to keep me going and I'm not sure if these are like the grunge board they don't feel it they do feel like a solid chipboard rather than um, the grunge board because I had quite a bit of flex as far as I remember so like I say I've got lots of stamps here so this is the willow twigs and we've got some lovely beautiful butterflies on it which is called flutters one and then we've got the butterflies in flutters too. And then we've got tumbling vines. Um, and then we've got another Christmas um, poem. Is it a poem? I'm not too sure, but I love the, I love this like poem or it's not a carol, is it? But you know, you all know what I mean, like, the, and it is, it was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what was my wondering, I should appear, but a minute just late, and eight tiny reindeer. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I love that, I've always loved this poem, or like I say, whatever it is. And then we've got one that's called scatter seeds and it says scatter seeds of kindness everywhere you go scatter bits of courtesy watch them grow and grow gather buds of friendship keep them till full grown and you will find more happiness than you'll have ever known and these are all like the poly polymer stamp stamps yeah photo polymer stamps i'm not quite sure what these are so because they weren't a thing they had we used to call them the acrylic stamps whether they just changed the name or not i have no idea and then I have a thing for giraffes. Giraffes are my favourite animal. So basically, um, I absolutely love them. So I, I thought I'd get this and it'd be make, make a nice summer card. And it's got little flamingos and stuff. And actually, they've got some kind of reindeers, which would be good for Christmas too. And they're all individual, so it's not one big stamp. So they get quite a lot. You get one, two, three four, five, six, seven stamps in there and it's fantastic that they all are individual. And then we've got this stamp which is called Journey and it says it's, it is not the journey but the destination that matters so that's one of the stamps and then the other one says do not go where the path may lead oh yeah go instead where there is no path and have a colourful trail so again there's three stamps in there. And then we've got a stamp and scent stencil set and this is the Cloudy Moon which again, this was not a thing as far as I remember. Uh, so I'm excited. So obviously this, I'd be using like my Tim Holtz or some sponges or something like that. And then we've got look up in the dark and see the stars with many magic in your eyes. So that's a really nice one. And that one was called see the stars. And then we've got Fairy, The Watcher, and like these are like silhouette type of stamps. And then we've got trees, which can be used to me. They can be used all year round, really, but obviously it's called Winterland, so they are Christmas type trees. But like you could get away with this, and you could get away with them just being in the background as like leaves and stuff like that. And again, they're all individual. Then we've got Dance One, which is a ballerina, um, and she's again a silhouette. And then we've got Splat and Splodge. I really don't think you can have enough of these style stamps and background stamps. They can make such a big difference to a project. And then we have Bulrush, which has got the Bulrushes, but then we've got the birds. And again, the birds are both in different stamps. 
I do apologise for any glare because obviously these are new products and stuff. There is a lot of glare because we need the ring lights. And then we've got happy birthday and it's literally just got happy birthday twice but they're all individual so that you can have them side by side, you could have them off centred, you can choose whichever way you actually want to stamp them up. Then we've got dream and it's got a dream stamp. Then we have always have old memories but young dreams. And then the bottom one says yesterday is but a vision and tomorrow is only a dream. But today you will live well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a dream of hope. And that's a really nice one. And I really love this um, stamp. I used to love face stamps. So and this is quite a big stamp. I'm not sure if it's as big as that one. But it could well be. And this is called Isabel. And then we've got another Merry Christmas one, and this is um, a Santa sleigh. And you can see we've got all the reindeers, and we've got the same stamp again, but both going opposite directions, so you can choose. Then we've got the stars, and then we've got a Merry Christmas. So again, all in different ones. Then we've got tide recede and it says the tide recedes but leaves behind the bright seashells on the sand the sun goes down but gentle warmth still lingers on the land the music stops yet echoes on the sweet soulful rain refrains for every joy that passes something beautiful remains and like I, said, I love sentiment stamps as well and again the, you can use these as a focal point but you can also use them in backgrounds and then we've got we have stars so who needs a fairy light when we have stars Again, you can use that all year round, perfect for Christmas too. And then we've got a fairy, and fairy star does this one again in a silhouette. And here is another splatter effects. It's got, well, it's actually it's called splatter effects. Um, again, for individual stamps. And then we've got bare branches, and we've got some birds up here. Uh, and they're all individual, the birds, so you can line them up as much as you want to. And then we've got this gorgeous peacock feather, which is called peacock feather. Um, and again, if you go on my nail channel, you'll see I do love uh, peacock feathers. So I'm excited to try that. And then the last um, stamp is called Twinchy again, they're like little snow cabins, log cabins with some snow on the background, and they are so dinky. But you could make a little village with these, so that's that for the Incalicious um, bit of the haul. So let's get to the last thing if I can get it on the table. Wow guys, that took some doing to open this box, which is unusual for Amazon. So I'm just going to take this out, everything that's in here. The first thing in the box was this art glitter. I did actually order the metal tip as well. I remember this being a fantastic glitter. For the life of me, I couldn't remember the name of it. And I searched and searched and searched and finally found it. But I'm hoping they're going to send the nozzle separately. Uh, let's hope because I'm sure it must have been from the same seller. It was a steal. I literally got this as a bargain. Um, I've watched quite a lot of YouTube videos on it. It's just got so much in here. I'm going to open it up to show you a bit but off camera just because it's going to be noisy. Some leaves, you can make tags, you can make flowers, you can make envelopes, more tabs of the tabs and tags and you can make bunting it's actually got a stamp plate with it you've got a corner rounder a hole punch and that this one makes these tabs you've got a paper trimmer and then you obviously you've got the scoreboard and then you've got the stamp plate now this is something new to me they didn't have these when I used to craft and it's just such an ingenious idea like I just I, when my friend told me about it I was like wow and then you've got these pegs down here which will make bowls pom-poms and tassels and I've seen quite a few people get really nice results from that so these are the type of thing I would make bowls back in the day but I would never have dreamt of making these because the pom-poms I just remember going around and around and around it take you forever around the two circles and then I'd mess it up and not tie it right <laughs> 
so yeah and the, this is from we are memory keepers and you can see here it says his video instructions on the youtube so yeah i've literally just took this out of the box and this is um has come out i'm just hoping it's going to stick in very easily hopefully i get it the right way around so the spring was actually off so let's see if we can actually get it in I tried to get it in and then it literally just pinged right back out which is just disappointing really so and then when that happened I've lost a spring in the process so hopefully I can find the spring and hopefully we can get it in um, I'm not too sure of this mood but it just seemed a bit strange with the markings there I have no idea I hope I can fix it because I don't know if I'd ever get it at that price again but I will try and we've got a really simple instruction book I'm sure this is not new to majority of crafters I'm sure it's been, going, it's out, been out for quite a while so there's very easy instructions to follow and then let me just move these out of the way with the spring before I lose the, that spring too. And then we've got, like I say, this stamping press which has got magnets at the top and they click on. If you turn them over, there is resistance there so they will not stick as we all know the magnets will, if they're a certain way, they will do that resisting. Then we've got these little spongy feet and I know all this because like I said I have watched quite a few videos on this to see how it works and you'll just put your stamp in there and basically press that down and we've got this lever here which comes out and clicks into place or locks into place and we've got all the inches there and then at the very bottom we've got a small up to 18 centimeters here so and then that just clicks back down when it's not in use I'm just going to take this off because I don't want it breaking by turning it upside down and then here we have the magnets with the little pull tabs so we can keep them safe but you need to keep it in this area because that's where the magnet is for them to slay on and then we've got this which will make the envelope and it's then the banner chart and then we we have the prong sticks whatever you want to call them to make the bowls tassel and pom-poms and then we've got this little nifty bone folder in there and then we've got the nice foamy feet which will help to stop it from slipping and then here we've got the paper trimmer but then you've got to lift it up you've actually got to lift it up like it at the bottom here because that's where it locks into place which is good really and then we have this panel here which is a little bit dirty actually it's still actually got the markings here for the measurements um, and this is the way you're going to keep it for the paper trimmer and it says there flip for scoring so then you flip it place it down inside and butt up there so your card is not going anywhere so you can get it right in that corner so yeah I hope I can fix this I hope I can find the other spring that's just like literally sprung and obviously it's so tiny if I can fix it obviously I'm going to keep it if I can't fix it it's just going to be another return to Amazon which I was so excited to get this so I'm a little bit disappointed and one thing I did actually miss was this is where you put the pegs so you can have all different sizes of bows and bigger tassels I'm guessing bigger pom-poms it all depends on how far you put the pegs um, so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this to me huge crafting haul and I hope you continue to watch me and enjoy the crafts that I actually do. Please comment, subscribe if there's anything you want to see as a beginner. Because I feel like I am a beginner. I'm learning all over again. I'm sure it will come back to me. And yeah, 
that's all thanks again for watching and i shall see you in the next video bye